So I do have my foundation already primed to go, the skin is already set, and let's go ahead and get started. So on social media, I've seen this cool little hack. Basically, you take a very clean sock, you turn it inside out, make sure it's clean and very new. That would be very gross and a lot of bacteria. So go ahead and take a sock, put your three fingers through the opening, go ahead and twist it a few times, and go ahead and push it through. So it's going to go ahead and create like a beauty blender almost. Make sure it's compact from where you push it in. So there we go. We could go ahead and push it into the foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Estee Lauder Double Repair Wear Stay in Place Makeup Foundation. And I'm in the shade 3 and 1. So I'm going to go ahead and take my the foundation that's back of my hand. Distribute with my finger. Take any excess and apply it with the sock. So now I'm going to go ahead and unfold the sock now and turn into the clean side which is this edge right here. I'm going to go ahead and cover my hand with the whole sock towards the tip and then just go ahead and pet into the powder and apply towards you in your eye. I promise you guys this sock is brand new. It just has a hole. Okay. Might have ripped it. So with the excess, I'm going to go ahead and just pat the whole face, but leave that under eye untouched because we already have that. I'm going to go ahead and set there. Now, since I am oily skin and I did use a matte foundation for my eyelids just to go ahead and cover and give me some, let's say, base, I'm going to go ahead and just go on and apply the eyeshadow and start with the eyes. We are working with pigment, so that's why I did apply a setting powder, a large amount of setting powder under my eyes as well, just to go ahead and brighten up the under eyes and especially catch any fallout and sweep it away if we do work with the glitters and things like that. So I'm taking the 35W palette by Morphe. I'm gonna go ahead and begin this for my transition colors and into my crease. So to start off with, I'm gonna go ahead and use any major soft brush and make sure the bristles are very cut off from the top. It's very flat. I'm gonna go ahead and begin with this nude shade right here and combine this one all together. And this is gonna go ahead and set the foundation I have on the eyelid, even though it is matte already. This is just gonna go ahead and keep it from creasing. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this soft peach color right there and begin to apply that towards the crease area. I'm going to go ahead and brush this into a dome-like shape around the whole crease area beginning from the outer corner towards the inner corner of the eye. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this light orange shade right there and begin to apply that very tiny amount towards the light crease of the eye and then go ahead and build it up. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and lightly begin to dust this into that crease and then from there this is going to go ahead and build it up once you add apply more shade to it i'll go ahead and add more product to build it up Now for this part, I'm going to go ahead and take this burnt orange matte right here. It's like a very crispy soft brown or a nice burnt orange. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that very tiny amount towards the crease area. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply a glitter towards the eyelids. I'm going to go ahead and take the Miki Beauty Lip Balm. I use this to go ahead and stick on the actual glitter for the eyes. So I'm taking the glitter powder in bronze, 22. With a very flat brush, I'm just going to go ahead and pack this onto the eyelids. And the main part to know is you don't want to go ahead and pass that crease. We go ahead and applied all those orange shades. This is going to be the cut crease of our area. Go ahead and turn over to a clean side and use the golden bronze.
I'm gonna go right back with this burnt orange matte right here towards the tip of the brush and begin to apply it with the lower lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and take the LA Color Liquid Liner and begin to just apply a thin layer towards the top layer of my line. I'm going to apply this liner. This is a unique cosmetics mood struck liner in the shade Perfect. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply it towards my waterline. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add a Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, curling my lashes and applying double wispy lashes towards my eyes. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. Now we're finished with the eyes. I'm going to go ahead and take the Jar Cosmetics Brow Bar to go and the Rima Beauty Eyebrow Concealer. So now I'm going to go ahead and give myself some more structure and bronze and just contour a little bit towards my features. I'm just going to go ahead and take the Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil bronzer. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that with a Morphe bronze brush. So first at the beginning, I would like to go ahead and dust it very lightly towards the brush and begin to carve out my nose. I don't want to go ahead and go too harsh with the bronzer on the side of my nose, especially towards the bridge. I'm gonna go ahead and sweep under the setting powder that I have set there for a while now. I'm gonna go ahead and just sweep it away with any fluffy brush. Now I'm gonna go ahead and work on the lips. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Under Matte Lipstick in the shade Crush and go in with this Kiko 3D Instant Volume in the shade 202. I like to apply a matte first and then go back with a gloss just to go ahead and grab hold of the pigment and last it much, much longer than it's normally supposed to and especially so my lips won't feel so dry with a matte lipstick. So this is a real look for you guys, it's very glittery, very glossy at the same time, but it's very pigmented as well, so it will last you so much longer throughout the whole day. And I do want to go ahead and give my huge, huge gratitude to Corita Cosmetics for giving me their face toner, and it works very great, it does feel very refreshing, especially I apply it on every single night and it does feel amazing throughout the skin, it does hydrate my skin and make it look more healthier looking. Another company I do want to go ahead and give my huge gratitude and warm hug is to Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. And they have amazing, amazing um, smells and scents that they're more on the cologne and perfume side. And also they did send me four of their amazing scents as well. And I do like to use these, especially on the time out or want to go to something more festive or just smell great. Another product I did really, really enjoy is Emily Beauty. Thank you guys so much for letting me their Wink Lash and Brow Oil and their Shine for just coming in this cute little bottle right here. And it's a beautiful oil. 
that you can go ahead and just drop on your finger and just go ahead and massage gently towards those dark spots areas and watch them fade away over some amount of time especially towards their eyelash and brow enhancer I keep this in the box because it's just so beautiful I do like to go ahead and with my lashes give a few coats especially towards my eyebrows just to give it more volumizing more thicker and more healthier especially so it's just gonna go ahead and enhance some features within the skin and especially towards the hairs of your natural face so thank you guys so so much for watching and I'm part of the mytopface.com team. Thank you guys and I'll see you guys later.